everyone hope you are doing good I'm your host Jason in this video I will be showing you how to create a portfolio for virtual assistant on Canva once on Canva all you'll need to do is right below the search bar you're going to tap on websites after selecting websites you'll be redirected to this page and I want you to select portfolio website after selecting portfolio website you'll be redirected to a new page and i want you to pay attention to the left hand menu option on the left hand menu option there are numerous templates that you can choose from so you could scroll down and you can hover over the different templates and if you see a template that you like all you'll need to do is simply tap on it and then from there you will see all the pages that are associated with that particular template so you can see it right there now if you don't find a template that you like you can create your website from scratch to do this you are going to select layouts from the top navigation bar so after selecting layout let's say for example i would like to use this for my home page so all I would need to do, for example, I'm going to be selecting this one right here. I would simply tap on it. After you have done that, you can drag and place a video or a photo for your background. So let's say I would like to use a video. So all you'll need to do is tap on elements if you don't have a video. If you have a video that you'd like to upload, you could select uploads. Then tap on upload image or video and you could upload your video let's say for example i would like to use this video all i would need to do is simply drag and place the video and you can see right there i've added the video now all you need to do is simply select the page after selecting the page what you're going to do next you're going to tap on playback right here and from there we could simply toggle on play on repeat so it will always be playing then after doing that you can tap on the text section and you could edit the text section you could also add your logo right there then we're going to tap on add page to add another page after you have done that you're going to tap on designs once more and then from here we can add another page so let's say for example with this page we'll be using this particular template right here or you can use any template for example this one then from here you could for example let's say link back to your different portfolios so for example you could type in portfolio one then from there you could type in portfolio two portfolio three and then also you could simply type in a simple little snippet right here and then you could make it clickable so for example we could add images right here and you could name this your portfolio page so you could do that right there so that will be the portfolio page and by the way to name pages you'll simply tap on the add notes section and then from there we could type in for example portfolio to name this page so this will be the portfolio page and since we are calling this for example portfolio one or you could call it client one we're going to be creating a page by the name of client one so to do this all you'll need to do is tap right where you see add page then from there we'll tap on add notes and you can tap in the top left hand corner right where you see page two or page three better yet and you could type in portfolio one then after doing that you could add on the information right there and again you could go over to the top left hand corner and tap on design and you could use one of these template layouts right here so for example you could use this layout you could simply tap on it and from there you could add the information for that particular client and you can continue adding more pages by tapping on add page you can continue adding more pages to your website once you're finished adding the pages now all you'll need to do you can tap on preview in the top right hand corner to see how it looks and by the way you can see that by adding the page name you have now created a navigation bar in the top right hand corner so once someone taps on portfolio they'll be redirected to the portfolio page as you can see right there and you can see right there now all you will need to do is tap on publish for your website to go live 
Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.